There's a phrase that psychologists have come up with called thin slicing, relating to social interaction. Let me explain why you, me, and pretty much everyone we know have probably done it, and more importantly, why we shouldn't. My name is Jonathan Bradshaw, and welcome to this week's Meetology Minute. Yes, hello, wherever you are in the world, from me here in the centre of Prague this week, where I'm speaking on Meetology tomorrow. Now, thin slicing, what is it? Well, as I said, it's something I'm almost 100% sure that you've done. Certainly I have. It's quite common human nature. We need to avoid it. Here's what it is and here's why. Thin slicing is where we look at someone or hear about them and make a judgment, negative one probably, based on very limited information. You might hear someone's accent and they're from a part of the country you don't particularly think is great. So you think, oh, they must be like this and maybe add and expect them to behave in a negative way. It might be the way they're dressed. They're dressed a way that you think is X, Y, Z and therefore you just think negatively of them. You've actually got no information. It's taking a thin slice of someone's whole personality and making negative judgments. If they're positive, there's no problem with that, I suppose. I mean, it's not something to be worried about so much. Um, but when they're negative connotations, when they're negative biases and characteristics that you're attaching to that person, they can stop you connecting because you expect them to be somebody you won't necessarily connect with. Do you remember, and I'm showing my age now, in the film Pretty Woman, 1990s film with Julia Roberts and Richard Gere, she goes, Julia Roberts' character goes into, I think this was Beverly Hills, a, a high-end boutique shop, and because she's dressed in a way that the retail agents, the salespeople, think isn't right, they assume she hasn't got the money to spend. And of course, later on, she comes back, and she's got plenty of money, and she can actually buy the stuff on offer. At that point, they could have lost their sale because they didn't actually trust somebody. They trusted their own judgment, which actually was completely wrong. So this week's Meetology Minute has one insight. Beware of you thin slicing other people. A new colleague comes to work and you hear a bit of information, but you haven't actually spoken to them yourself, but you have a negative bias against them. A friend, a colleague, your boss, your team, we do it all the time. We have to be careful not to. Hopefully you've been on to meetology.com now. We help people thrive at work by making people skills one of their superpowers. If you own a business, do get in touch about our training and speaking uh, about this fascinating subject. It's something that your team need to learn more about. I'll be back in a week's time with some more Meetology, the science powering world-class people skills. From Prague, have a good week. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>